Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, this is Beatrice Vivius with at Uncle Frankie Two Socks and your favorite beach bar date. Many of you can guess where I am today. Let's see what's interesting around here. Gonna take a short walk on a long pier. So hopefully we don't fall off. Well, you guessed it right, I'm at the harbour. How many can, of you can guess which one? In the, in the scientific community, rumour has it that on the northern side of a hard surface, you will get the ocean digging out on the east coast of Africa. And it will deposit again it will deposit on the southern side, it will dig on the nor northern side. Now I'm going to prove to the people, the skeptics, that sediment movement is from south to north on our coast. I've proven it with rocks, I've proven it with pebbles, I've proven it with a lot of things. But now I'm going to prove it with the harbour. That is the dredger making sure that the harbour entrance is spectacular and deep the port authorities claim it's 22 meters deep at all time that means even on spring low it must be 22 meters deep but that's also why they put a pilot on the vessel so that they can help the ship captains make decisions on when to, is the right time to exit port and what is the right angle. Now he used to come here often and make some videos, take some photos and there was way more crabs than there is today. Found one of my friends. Yo, you're a beaut. It was a nice brisk walk here to the dolphin viewing platform met a young tiktoker here and a very friendly guy I hope his profile grows fast and he gets a lot of followers it's the future of our young people and um, we're not all always supportive, supportive of it look, look at that beautiful color line we've got there we can see the plankton drifting between the color line so beautiful to see nature working, producing right here in a working harbour. Can you guys believe it? The soil erosion on the north side of the harbour is terrible. It's terrible. Right, um, so we now got it that uh, the ocean digs away on the northern side of a hot surface development and uh, move the sediment north from there so is this the problem that we have at St. Lucia we've got too much sediment because Rich's Bay's got too little I don't know but it looks like it crabs are starting to come out was out too early I was a little bit too early. Wow. Those are the old dredger pipes that used to fill up the sediment on this side that was sucked up north. It's not functioning at the moment. It's got, they've got something to do with the deterioration here 
I don't know. I'm not so much involved in riches based sediment movement plans. Don't have the experience. I think that's called Palm Beach. Guys fishing there. Some rituals happening. Now somebody is broadcasting a church, a service here on the beach. Uh, I'm all for freedom of religion, but hell, I come here to make peace with my creator. And now it's disturbed. So note to self, be here before seven o'clock in the morning. Between five and seven, there's two hours that you can enjoy this. That is the, oh, it looks like a rainbow, but that is the dredger working the riches by a harbour mouth and entrance, keeping it deep enough. It seems that it's dumping the sediment on the south side of the south pier, which is, I don't understand. And probably what Riches Bay is more famous for. There's some waves here. And the young ones are having fun. They're having a go at it. Hey, we might have one here. Nope, couldn't make it. Let's see if they're going to make this one. No, he's going to sit that one out. The youngster is going to try it. Yes, he made it. Ah, finish quickly. Under it. You see, that is where the impact is. That's where you should start. I think you guys are going too deep. Not going to take that one either. Okay. Nope. He started early enough. Is he going to catch it? Yes, he made it. Let's see. Very dramatic view here at the uh, Alcan Strand. Standing here at the fishing spot, I think Rich Bay calls this Palm Beach. I am not so sure. The erosion here is absolutely scary. Real, real scary. This is north of Palm Beach. We can just have this as an erosion here at St. Lucia Estuary. Wow, that would be great. I presume these trees was removed on the beach line falling into the ocean becoming hazardous for the people I presume that's what happened here that's my deduction I missed them when they caught in a couple of big ones but I'm back let's see if we can get some footage the first guy I video surfing is one of the subscribers Quibus thanks pal um, Give us explained it's more longboard conditions today. Yo, there's a long way. And uh, so Chris and his wife and his daughter are here. Chris and his wife has got longboards. Let's see if we can get some more footage. There's Chris, his wife and his daughter. It seems that there was just a surge of nice waves and then it died down again. Total different for me. This I've never done surfing. Paddleboarding, yes. Or what you call it surf skis. Many months ago. So 
So let's try and learn the lingo and see what the guys are doing. That youngster has got it. He's got into a nice long wave there. Riding it from south to north all the way. Yeah, beautiful. They group together, waiting for the big one to come through. But the sets has calmed down a lot. Both exiting the harbour. A little bit late for fishing. Things are happening at Riches Bay. We might be able to tell some stories here on the weekend. Okay, let's see. Nope. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Yes, 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 we've got it. Oops. This gets coming through, Simo. We might get some action. Has he got it? Yes, he's on top of it. He's got it. Well done, young man. Ah, and he jumped over it. Jose! Yes, Chris has got it. Ah, he nearly lost it. Ah, he lost it. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Now he has to fight the white foamies. Ah, under it. Ah, it takes his board with him. Ah. <laughs> yep, that, those ones I remember from Paddleski. I lost quite a few sets here because I ran into a lady that had a message for me and uh, yeah interruptions guys I'm no religion basher but if we keep on preaching to the, our children that they haven't got much time to live because we're living in the end of times we're gonna have a lot of depressed children Let's teach them that life is existing. Let's teach them the positivity of the scripture. Let's teach them that God is love. Let them play outside. Let them not fear that they're going to be struck by lightning or being their friends is going to be grabbed and abducted suddenly. We don't know when that is going to happen. We don't know when the revachraping gebeur or when the rapture is going to happen. So let's be positive. Okay, back to surfing. We've got a lifeguard training session happening here on the Sunday morning. That's what it looks like to me. Happy swimming guys. Enjoy the outing. Nice one. Nope, it's an overrun. <laughs> oh no, sorry Kathy. Guys swimming to the shark nets or back or what? Damn, damn, damn. And I missed that one again. Could be Chris last try to get uh, he missed that one. From this angle you guys appear to be too deep. Hey they're still going. Haven't turned around yet. Might be in for a good one. Is he gonna catch it? Pretty much no. This is gonna try for that one. It's sucking him in too hard. He's got it. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Our shark swimmers is returning. Yeah, those guys are fit. Oh my. Against the outgoing current. That's gonna be a struggle. Now that is the dangerous current. The rip current right here on the shore break. That's where most swimmers get into trouble. That's where the surfers will tell you it's a struggle to get out. Thanks for the opportunity to show the people how a rip current works, Chris. some research on it to see how deep it can dredge, how much stun it can move, 
We now know deposit the sediment to the north of the Long Pier and that is very very uh, good news because sediment movement along the coast is from north from south to north from south to north well, this is the helicopter that drops the pilots onto the ships to help the ship go out of the reach by harbour. They know where the channels are, they know when it's deep, they know when the tide is right, they know if the ship carrying capacity can leave the harbour at a certain time of the day. That is a very important tool to the harbour.